Um, what are some of the open source emergency management systems that are currently being used? In terms of the responders using software, Sahana Eden from the Sahana Foundation gets used a lot. It's a management software, um, essentially for managing the resources, um, people, shelters, whatever, that, that uh, are needed in a disaster, to a need to respond to disaster. Uh, you also get a lot of reuse of open source software that isn't specific to disaster. For example, OpenStreetMap. Um, I've been working disasters since 2010, and the, the most significant thing in 2010 was the OpenStreetMap crews who built maps of the roads that responders suddenly went from having no maps to be able to see where they were. So situating people is big. Uh, you're also getting a lot of reuse of open source code by some of the very big agencies. For instance, the UN is now using the CCAN software, the repository management software for its disaster responses, uh, and contributing back to it, which is really closing the loop. The big problem for disaster response up to this point has been stovepiping, that um, each disaster response agency had its own software, and they didn't speak to each other. You're using an open source, and they're, they're starting to use more of the same pieces of open source. They've instantly got a way to start communicating with each other, which can only be good. More obscure side, amateur radio has a lot of software that, while not necessarily identified as open source, such as the automatic packet reporting system, uh, it is, in essence, open source. It has been, uh, I don't know how it's exactly licensed but I know that it's available for you to use and to contribute to. Um, I'm uh, with the Crisis Communicator. The Crisis Communicator is also open source. We are operating under a uh, open source license called the Peace OSL, Peaceful Open Source License, which is essentially the BSD license and with an additional clause that says that it cannot be used for harmful activities. So providing a way for our military to use it without killing people. And uh, the uh, crisis communicator also uh, piggybacks on APRS. So there are a number of technologies out there, and uh, all it takes is a Google search to find them. But as, as Sarah mentioned, the, the key is, is to get different agencies to speak the same language. And that's part of what the crisis communicator is about, to uh, bring community responders and disaster responders on the same platform so they can share the same messages and see the same information.